do a quick video on why I decided not to continue with UTA, which is University of Texas at Arlington. So, when I first applied, um, I got through pretty fast, and I got a, I guess like a scholarship for people who are just starting the nursing program, the bridge program. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I'm saving money, and you know, it's a really um, decent price school. So I went ahead with it, and at this point, they haven't evaluated all my credits. So by the time the end of the first semester, which is five weeks or a month, I forgot, I think it was five weeks, by the end of the first semester, by the time they evaluated my credits, they were pretty much saying that none of my credits transferred over and that I had to retake all these classes. Mind you, I think the nursing program is maybe 10 classes, so you can do that within a year, year and some change, maybe a year and a month or something like that. Um, but they're like, yeah, no, you need 18 classes. So of course, you know, I'm upset. I'm like, you know, I have an entire bachelor's degree. Like there's no reason why I need all these classes when I did everything. So pretty much their explanation is that the class that I took didn't, uh, it didn't um, equal to their class in Texas which doesn't make sense because I feel like if you took math, then it should transfer over. If you took history, it should transfer over as to whatever history. And obviously, you know that I'm capable because I have an entire degree. So I was pretty upset about that. And um, yeah, so after I spoke to them and you know made sure, okay, I really do need 18 classes, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm not staying. Because I'm not going to waste my time to take all these classes over again that I already took. In addition to them saying that I need to take, like, because um, they're located in Texas. So they're like, oh, well, I need Texas government and all this other stuff. Like, I would have been maybe, like, okay with taking, like, one extra class because, okay, yeah, I don't live in Texas. So maybe I do need a Texas government class. But for you to say I need to retake math and all this other stuff, like, I was just, like, really frustrated with that. So, um, yeah, so I decided to leave. I mean, I'm kind of sad because that first class was, like, a breeze. Like, it was so easy. It was so chill. It was easy for me to do working overnights and working full-time. Like, it was very easy to do. It was straight to the point. Um, you know, you just had to answer some questions and, um you know, make sure you did your discussion questions and answer the classmates, answer your classmates. So, um, that was, yeah, that was pretty easy. So I'm kind of sad to go, but at the same time, I'm not going to spend all this money to take all these classes that I basically already took already. Like, so that's why I decided to leave UTA, University of Texas Arlington, and I decided to go back to GCU so at first I didn't want to do GCU because um you know I felt like they were being kind of like hush hush as far as like the financials and blah 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 um and I felt like they weren't really answering my questions so that was why I was a little skeptical with GCU um but now that I went back and inquired again, and I'm like, okay, listen, yeah, like, you know, because I'm just trying to get this over with. Like, I don't want to waste any more time. Like, I want to be done with my bachelor's by next year. So with GCU now, they took all my credits, 87 credits. Thank you very much. And I only need 10 classes um, of the nursing, you know, the nursing classes was only 10. So um, that worked out perfect for me. So um, my advisor said I'll be done June of 2020 and I'll be taking one class at a time and I'll be paying out of pocket, um, which is fine because it's still affordable enough, <laughs> barely for me to pay out of pocket to, you know, continue on with the program. So I'm officially enrolled in GCU. I started already. I'm in my second week now. Um, so far, GCU is okay. Um, it's not hard, but 
they're very like on point with like um citing like make sure you do your citing and your reference pages and all that like they're very specific with that but the good thing is they give you all of that so literally just follow the outline i mean you can always go to like purdue owl or you know whatever the book or that you use but with gcu um when you first get accepted and you're about to start the class they'll give you like a breakdown of like all the citations whether it's a book journal article um newspaper or whatever so that was nice of them to do um it's still tedious but it was nice of them to do um so yeah so far the first week was um just kind of just getting used to the class like the online thing um so the way they do it in gcu is you have two discussion questions so they give you a list of all like the paperwork or the chapters that they want you to read then you have two discussion questions so you have to answer both of those discussion questions oh right so you have to answer both of those both of those discussion questions each time you answer the discussion questions it has to be 200 words um and then you also have to cite you also have to have a reference so 200 words plus a reference for each discussion question so this is every week now so you have two discussion questions okay after discussion questions now, now you have to respond to two classmates per each discussion question. So discussion question number one, you answer with your 200 words and with your reference. And then you answer two classmates um, discussions as well. So it's going to be a whole lot of post. Um, I feel like it is kind of a lot because... Um, yeah, so you got to answer two classmates plus your initial post for one discussion and then for the other. And then they also um, count participation as posting three days per week. So what I do is I'll do everything beforehand. I'll answer both discussion questions beforehand. And then when it's due, I'll just post it up when it's due. So for the first discussion, I'll post um, my initial answer and then I would answer the two classmates that one day so that's that's the first day because you need three days in total so that's the first day the second day I would answer the second discussion question but with you know with my initial response and then answer another two classmates for that second discussion questions okay so now that's two days and then the third day now um, what I do is I would just like post up my assignment and then they have like um, like extra credit or something that also counts as participation so that's um what i've been doing i hope i've been doing it right um there's only week two so i'll see um but yeah so you need to be active three days so that's pretty much how it's been um and um so the first week was just questions the second week which is the week that i'm in um i have a paper so the paper is 750 words they give you the rubric and you just make sure you answer all the questions um apa format um have your reference page um you know your citations all that stuff and yeah and then the third week is going to be um a group project i hate group projects but they force you to do a group project. And then um, I believe, you know, I'm not really into it all the way, so I can't really um, explain into detail. But you have to have a group leader and only one person is going to actually submit the actual project. But everyone has their own part in that project. So you're still getting the one grade. So that's the only thing that I kind of don't like because... I don't know it's very hard for me to trust people to know that they're gonna do their part like I know I'm gonna do my part but I don't know about everyone else so that's pretty much it with GCU it's definitely a little bit more tedious than what I've done at UTA for the month which I'm still kind of upset about because I pretty much wasted a whole month but at least I didn't pay for it so yeah I'll keep you guys posted on that and let you know but if you have any questions you could just you know you can always ask me hit me up and let me know. I've been like crazy busy. You can see the bags under my eyes. Overnight shift, three days back to back. It's, it's something. Something to get used to. So yeah, thanks for watching and um, leave comments, questions. My email is there and let me know. Thanks. Bye guys.